Hi guys, Ben here from SagePay. I'd uh, just like to tell you guys a bit more about SagePay, who we are, what we do, and hopefully how we can make your life a bit easier. Um, and if we can start by just who we are. All right, so SagePay is owned by the Sage Group, um, which is a global company, as, as you all probably know. That also effectively means that if you're dealing with SagePay, you are dealing with, with Sage. We're also regulated by a bunch of institutions, including PASA, which is the Payments Association of South Africa. PASA is also the guys who regulates all transactions in South Africa, including the banks and all, th all third-party payment providers. We're also registered with PSSA, um, where you need to register if you're running EDO or NATO transactions. We're PCI compliant, which means you can trust us with credit card security. We register with the Financial Services Board and obviously SARS as well. When it comes to security, we take it quite seriously. And because we are seen as a financial institu institution dealing with financial data, with funds, sensitive data, and we are regulated by the same institutions that regulates the banks, our security needs to be on par with what you would find with your bank. We would also have three servers across the country where all our data is backed up. All right, we integrated to quite a few Sage products, um, and but today we're just going to be dealing with with Sage HR and payroll. Before we show, before I show you how it works, let's just have a quick look at why do you want to use Sage Pay for your salary payments. First of all, we are completely integrated to your payroll system, which means the days of exporting files or doing manual EFT payments are over. Also, exporting or emailing payment files is a security risk, um, as those files can be edited and salary fraud can be committed. We also have a dated payment service, which means that all your employees can be paid on the same day, instead of doing a normal EFT payment where some guys get paid today and the rest of the guys tomorrow. With SagePay, you can have everyone getting paid on the same day. Our transaction fees are quite low. Um, 99% of the time, it is quite lower than, than the fees you would pay your bank. But I do encourage you to go and compare fees to what you're currently paying at, at your bank. We also have bank account valid, valid validations, which means we validate your employee bank account details on entry. And where you won't find validation errors or failed uploads on salary date, SagePay will do it well before the time. So when you process your salary on the salary date, you will ensure that, that the salaries are, are in fact successful. All right, so now we can just quickly go and see how does it work and how to process your salaries. All right, so when you've decided that you want to use SagePay to process your salary payments, first thing you have to do is link your payroll to your SagePay account. And it's done very quickly and very easily. In your parcel payroll, you would click on utility, you go to Sage Connected Services, and you click on the Sage Pay tab. When you're doing this for the first time, these blocks will be all empty and the screen will ask you for your Sage Pay service keys. Now, to get your service keys, you'll need to go to your Sage Pay account. So you log on to Sage Pay. This will be your Sage Pay home screen. You go to your account profile, click on Sage Connect, and go and fetch the various service keys. So you go and copy the service key, go to your parcel payroll, and paste them in the various boxes, then click OK. That is effectively it. So your Sage Pay account is now linked to your payroll, and you're ready to process a salary payment. So on a salary date or the day before, you would follow your normal process where you go to process, check bank transfers, you click on next, where you would select Sage Pay salary payments. Go and select the employees you want to pay. Click next. You'll have to put in a beneficiary reference, which is the reference that appears on your employee's bank statement. Select the action date, we'll choose the fifth for this day. Select next. and finish.
your salaries will now have been sent to your SagePay account where you can go and authorize it. To authorize it, you go back to your SagePay account, go to services, click on payments, click on salaries, click on salary batches, and you'll see your batches there. Once here, you need to check that your batch is correct. All the employees and details are correct inside your batch. You can do this by clicking on the little face there. Once you're happy, you go back to your batch, you click on authorize. You would click on authorize. The system will then give you a summary of your batch. You can choose to send email or SMS notifications to the employees. You would then click on accept, click on authorize. At that point in time, we'll send a one-time pin to the cell phone number of the user that is logged into SagePay. Now this is important. Again, this has got to do with our security features. You as a company will set up certain users with certain access. All our users are is, is permission-based or, or the access is permission-based. So you'll give them permissions to certain functionalities on the system. What that means is no one can view or authorize a batch unless they are allowed to. So that gets set up with your SagePay registration initially. Um, once done, an authorizer will log in to SagePay to go and authorize the batch. He will click on authorize, will send a one time pin to his cell phone number. Once done, he would click on authorize, and that's it. Your batch is then, then submitted for, for payment to the bank accounts. Guys, that really is it with your salary payments. Should you guys have any questions or if you're interested in, in knowing more about it and, and pricing, please contact the guys at About IT. They will have all the information and they should be able to assist you in getting a SagePay account as well. Thank you very much. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.